Hello and welcome, I'm Lena Tay from Spotlight First and I'm here with Asteroid Boys! How are you guys? Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Be more excited than that! Yeah. What is Amazing! Yeah. What? Yeah. what? See, look how excited Exciting. I am, my earrings are But so you're a long way away from home, you guys are from Wales. Are you, are people like kind of shocked that you're from Wales? Do you still kind of get like that? No, I don't no, think no, so. Just kind of over, I'm just late to the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think people can kind of tell pretty quickly that we're not from London. Yeah, do you ever feel like you're kind of out, because London's kind of like the hub of music, the hub of everything. Do you ever feel like you're kind of disadvantaged or you're kind of away from like the hub or anything? It's a blessing in a sense because it means that, it, you know, we bring something different to the table. In London, a lot of people sort of follow each other's uh, strategies and, and, and you know, there's, there's a lot of bite in and a lot of people have similar styles but mm -hmm. we've come out of, of Wales with not so much of the same influences as people in London. We have a different accent, mm -hmm. we, you know, we look a bit different so we kiss uh, Yeah. Yeah, you put. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Today I do. So your sound is really different to your kind of rock as well as kind of grime influence. How did you even come up with the concept? Like how did that even come about? Happened naturally really. Um, like we used to make a lot of, we, we used to write grime tunes and, and when dubstep became a thing, um, we, 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 we started like messing with like sort of dubstep tunes that had like rock influences and metal influences. And it sort of unraveled over time, just playing with, with ideas and writing different songs. And eventually we came to this point where we got an album that kind of collaborates a few worlds together. You know? mm -hmm, no, definitely. And how did the kind of the group form? Cause you guys kind of just seem like mates that just kind of come together. How did you, you've been together since 2012 so how did you come about it like how did we meet each other yeah yeah um years ago like i met him in a youth center like yeah. he was just making beats he had a radio show and that and i was just like i like this kid and then we just started chatting and then me and him used to just meet each other at house parties and stuff like when we were like growing up and that it was just natural like just all friends and that yeah and in terms of sort of your journey from then until now how would you kind of describe the journey like rough. Kind of kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever comes easy, but yeah, I don't know. there's been amazing times. Like this, if this all ended today, then I'm pretty sure then I'd look back in, in many years' time and say this was the best time of my life. You know, yeah. so we've had some serious highs, but then to, to in order to get those serious highs, we've had to sacrifice a lot. We've had to put in a lot of hours and 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 sometimes for very little gain. So yeah, it's, it's been a it's been an exciting journey. It's been it's been the best thing I've ever done. Because mm. you did document, so I know you've done some stuff on YouTube, kind of documenting part of your journey. Is that something that you do more of? Are you kind of into that? It's cool to do at times. I think um, some of the documenting that we did was to help uh, give the fans an insight into some well, of those. I think Instagram and outside. Snapchat changed that. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, yeah. Uh, thinking about it, like back in the day, we used to just film everything, innit? and then make it edit and bang them on YouTube and we had like a following. But then yeah. Snapchat came out, then Insta, since Insta story, everything just goes yeah, up it's there, isn't it? It's quick, it's digestible and, and keeps it moving, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Instead of like making... Although there's not really any longevity in that, so if you did not want to have a good edit that was there for a while, you know, maybe we'd think about doing something like that again. <laughs> they were good doing it, they straight out of the car, I think. So I think they were quite yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gave people like a little insight into um, a situation which wasn't necessarily explained too well at the time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. So let's talk about the album, which is kind of the main reason we're here. So it's out on the 29th of September. It's called Broke. So I was kind of thinking of all these theories of why it was called Broke. I was oh, like, man, what were they? Oh, it's not actually that. Okay, so this is my <laughs> theory. It's quite good, I think. So I was like, okay, broke. They're gonna do a bunch of albums in between. Then the final album is gonna be called like Rich. That's like broke to rich. Oh, I, that's a good idea. I think it was yeah, a good one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Thank you. Round of applause. I'm glad we now have a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were doing like collabs with like Beyonce and Jay Z, and you just made it, you're like yeah. broke to rich. That was like I'm our journey. Do a collaboration with <laughs> Who would be your like dream collab to do a collab with? Sizzler. <laughs> or <Is it> like, <laughs> um, I don't know. Justin Bieber because he sells loads of records. <laughs> yeah, and the song would be called Rich. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I just I gave you an idea. Circle. I don't know. I, I think it would. Be, I, it, it, I, I, I've said this before, but it, it would be cool to work with pretty much anybody because c music is a creative process. It's mm -hmm. fun. We enjoy it. That doesn't necessarily mean the song's gonna go out or it's gonna reach a project, but I would be happy to, as long as I got a day free, to jam in the studio with anybody who, if it was somebody that I have listened to and enjoyed it, then, then there's definitely 
a word for, for making songs with them, you know? Yeah. So what is the actual meaning behind Broke? My crappy it, 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 What is there a meaning? It's, it's, it's open to interpretation, ultimately. Like, the, we, we all have different interpretations of it yeah. in the band. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your life can be broke, sometimes your pocket can be broke, sometimes your car can be broke. There's a lot of things that can be broken. But bro but I've seen the video actually, so your first song, Dirt, which is out from the album, I've seen the video, your car definitely wasn't broke in the video. <laughs> I was his car as well. Was it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that car was broke, because if you notice, it didn't move. It's true, it didn't. It didn't. You were just sitting in there. We were just sat in it, yeah. Yeah, no. So in terms of like the album, what can, can everyone expect from it? Don't expect anything, just pre-order it and wait. Just pre-order it. Yeah. No, it's, it, it, it is a collaboration of genres. It's a melding of genres. It's a bit like, so there's a lot of things yeah. going on that people, it, it hasn't been done before. People have done similar things. People, some people have done similar things and done very well off of it. But this is definitely a, a new direction of these collaborative genres. Melding. Melding. <laughs> melding. Um, and in terms of uh, sort of, I've seen like videos of your live performances. They look just insane. Do you have like a set routine? You go on to stage and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this song, I'm gonna do that song. No, what is your? No, no. no. That's just, one thing that we have never really done. Is have we, a, like, we have a proper set list. Like we, we just go on and we have like one or two, or, or a few songs that we like to start off with. But then once it gets to the middle of the set, we all at, at the end of a song, we'll all turn around to, to so the decks and be like. Yo, <laughs> yeah, so it's super unorganized, yeah. but it's like it's, 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 it's cool the vibe, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The vibe is. yeah. Like, cause we play to such like different, a different like groups of people that you can just kind of call it. We got songs we can pull up the bag depending on what vibe. Like, so you, we played. Oh, sorry. That, just we played uh, one time a heavy <laughs> yeah, metal. I was <laughs> We played the heavy metal festival in, in Germany um, at like midday and then we drove to Berlin to play with Ty Dolla Sign and Danny Seth that same evening. So we didn't really have much time to even think of what we were going to do to change the set. We just got there and, and flipped it, you know, but it was obviously a different way of approaching that show as playing that show. Yeah. You've also opened, opened for people like Stormzy as well. How was that? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, no, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Wait, just, did we actually open for Stormzy though? In Stuttgart. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's a good dude. He came to our show in Berlin then as well, and we hung out at that night. Yeah, we We played FIFA. <laughs> he actually no, beat me for one. Yeah, he, I was no, Dan, Daniel OG. Beat Daniel beat him, innit? Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's Daniel gassed, OG well. beat Stormzy. Yeah, he's gassed. Um, but you do have obviously uh, performances with you were doing Reading Festival and Leeds, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so in terms, obviously it's before the album comes out. Are they going to get like a preview of the album, like a couple of songs? Yeah, yeah there'll, be a few, there'll be a few. We, we started playing a few of the songs off the album, but I think by Reading and Leeds, there, be, there might be one or two extras chucked in. Um, yeah. So we good. Yeah, okay, perfect. Well, thank you very much for having us. So again, 29th of September out, where can everyone pre-order it? On your phone, internet. www.astroid-boys.com You can buy merch, you can buy tickets to our shows, you can buy, you can probably buy a date with Dal. There's <laughs> Price looks neat, that. Pro <laughs> it ain't, it's 25 99 that's why. <laughs> but yeah, astroid-boys.com Everything's there, go and check it out. Had it here first. Thank you for watching guys, this is Leela from Spotlight First.